Hi, I'm Barb Tremlin. I'm the beginner's expert, and right now we're going to talk about Reiki. We'll be talking about a series of Reiki uh, programs because Reiki is just too much to cover in three to five minutes uh, on this tape, but please know that you can go on further for more understanding and a more in-depth Reiki description. So Reiki, uh, broken down, is Rei for universal and Ki for life force energy. So it's a universal life force energy is what we're dealing with. Life force energy is something that you are born with. It's the first thing that comes in and brings life into your body and it's the last thing that leaves your body as you pass. Life force energy or the universal life force energy is the connection to all of the universe. So there's several different ways to look at Reiki. Right now we're going to talk about the physics of it. The physics tells us that energy exists and moves first and then matter follows. That being said, if your body is having a restriction of energy and the energy is not flowing to it, let's say if you're stressed and you're constricting your blood vessels, uh, you're frustrated, you're tense, the more that you become tense and stressed, the less universal life force you have flowing to your body, therefore you're going to feel worse. And if it continues and you don't stop that restriction uh, and, and uh, allow the energy to flow into the system, eventually you begin to get a headache or a stomach ache or a backache. And if you continue on that same path of keeping a restriction of the energy flow and you don't allow it to continue to flow into your body, eventually those aches and pains become more illness, more disease, and definitely more restrictive in your system. So what we want you to know is if you back way up, um, having this universal life force in your system is all about what your, your body needs. It's about natural healing. It's about allowing this universal life force through your body. So what we do when we practice Reiki is a practitioner is trained on how to take the shower of energy because energy is everywhere. We take the shower of energy that's all around us. We learn how to intentionally focus it and we bring it down to more of a laser beam focus of energy. And then we take that laser beam focus of energy, we're able to manipulate it through our mind, through our, through our bodies, and through our hands, and um, focus it with intention. We're able to take that laser beam and then begin to put that laser beam into the client that we're working on, plant, animal, client, uh, and we put that energy into their system. So we're able to help someone who has a low um, a low flow of life force energy, we're able to help them put more life force energy into that flow into their system to help them feel better. Sometimes when the body gets so low in energy, it can't grab more universal energy by itself. It needs support and help. That's what a Reiki practitioner is excellent for. Um, they can help assist in bringing in more life force energy, therefore advancing healing and repair of the body, and therefore bringing the system back up to where it should be. So when the system gets to where it should be, then it can start to advance its own healing. But what we're talking about with Reiki today is why see a Reiki practitioner and the basics of that. Reiki is phenomenal. It can help lower stress. It can help lower different aches and pains. It can help raise your energy. It can help with you um, with healing. If you're having an accident, post-surgery or pre-surgery, uh, having that universal life energy Reiki performed on you can actually advance your healing. And I do mean advance your healing. And I've not only helped other people going in before and after their surgeries, but I too have had it um, done for me uh, for surgery. And even in the post-op when I came to, the nurses were astonished at how quickly I was up and moving and not wanting to be there. They said they'd never seen something happen uh, where a client woke up and said, okay, ready to go now. And that's what the universal life force can do. It can pump you up to where you need to be to give you the most natural healing and help you feel wonderful in a short amount of time. There are many reasons to use Reiki, stress management, pain relief, raising your energy, helping you deal with depression or insomnia, maybe dealing with you know tough family situations. I do wanna tell you, Reiki is amazing. I've had wonderful experiences with it. I highly recommend everybody do Reiki One course. I think everybody should be certified in Reiki and be able to use it in their life. 
It's non-religious, non-denominational. It's just about life force energy. It's about human beings healing themselves and helping uh, be a conduit for healing for others. So my name is Barb Tremlett. I'm the beginner's expert. I hope you join us for a large series of other programs we're going to be doing, and we will be covering, uh, covering the Reiki in a lot more depth in the future. Thank you very much, and thank you for joining us for the series. Namaste.